In a country where men and women have traditionally led almost separate lives, women in the Afghanistan military are still a relatively new concept. But now a new breed of female aviators is training with their eyes and careers set firmly on reaching for the skies. When I was a child, it was a dream for me to go to the moon. But I know that I cannot do that because after just I want to fly in the sky. They've joined the Thunder Lab, an English immersion program based at Kabul Airfield, where five women have been selected as potential pilots for the expanding Afghan Air Force. While they're waiting for pilot training, they're getting a head start from classes ranging from English language and aviation to cultural differences in the West. Before, uh, we were sending um, pilot candidates to the United States and they were going to our Defense Language Institute in San Antonio and uh, with no prior language training, they were taking up to 14 months to graduate that program. Now, uh, we've sent, I think, about 10 students so far and uh, the first seven have completed the Defense Language Institute training program for English in 60 days. As well as having to speak English 24-7, the women eat, work and live with their female trainers and share classes with male officers, breaking down cultural barriers and years of difference between men and women. I think they are not happy um, to the, because uh, we joined the military and also the area forest. Uh, they don't um, they say that we cannot do this work because it's so hard and uh, women cannot uh, be a pilot in the future. But uh, we will show them that uh, we, we want to be a pilot and we must be a pilot in the future. That's where team building exercises like these come in. Male and female officers learn to trust and rely on each other as they'll need to do so in the air. It can be a struggle for any female in a military environment. So advice from their mentors who've had long and distinguished careers goes a long way. I've actually uh, went over 20 years in the uh, United States Air Force this year and uh, I think it's, it is good for them to see that there are women in, in, uh, in the military that are, you know, have rank, have made rank and uh, have made a career out of it. Both male and female officers have long, hard months of work ahead of them before they can take to the skies. First one of uh, my family that I enjoy the military. Uh, the, my ma I'm the oldest child of my family. My mom and my dad always support me and also they say they're proud of me and uh, also they, uh, they say that uh, I, I must continue my job. But with the confidence that's growing day by day in the Thunder Lab, these women are determined to show the world that they too can protect their country. It's, it's clear that we have to, hard, to work hard and show them that we can do everything that we want and we can serve Afghanistan as they can. And for more stories like these, don't forget to check out track180.com.